Yo, okay, Kigeno, everyone, it's the protagonist is here. This will be my last upload for February, so I want to get things prepped up for March. But in the meantime, uh, I think it's about time we get back into some Neptunia content because there's news that I wanted to talk about, uh, both old and new. So let's get right into this. So the first thing I want to talk about is Compound Heart now starting to develop the first, well, not the first, but they're starting to develop the fifth mainline game for Neptunia. Uh, and this is really big news, very big news, considering that you know, it's been almost 10 years since the fourth game actually came out. But uh, Noisy Pixel actually came with an article uh, talking about uh, how Compound Howard actually was finding a new, well, a clear direction on how they want to continue the series. And in I won't I won't show the whole article, but I will uh, post a link in the description below. But basically, they're saying that uh, they've now started on developing the fifth mainline game after they've right after they finished with um, Neptunia Sister vs Sisters, along with uh, Game R Evolution. So this is pretty big. This is honestly pretty big news, and. Uh, as someone who's made a few videos on on Neptunia and like the 10th anniversary, uh, this is something that I am pretty much looking forward to. And uh, I, uh, there are a bit of, but there is one bit of concern that I I, I do want to get out of the way, and I want to know, and I, I just want to like get this out of the way and say, will this actually come with a bit of censorship? And that's the main thing that I'm pretty concerned about when it comes to this new upcoming Neptunia main game. Because think about it, Super Neptunia RPG, that game was censored for the PlayStation 4, but they did not censor it for the Switch, which is good. Uh, then Hyper Dimension Neptunia Sisters vs. Sisters, that game was also censored, although not on the same direction as uh, Neptunia RPG. In fact, it was actually on the faults of Compile Heart and IFI. See, when the game, the game, when the game was released, it was actually given a T rating. But the issue with that was that they forgot to add a language or a mild language onto the uh, actual rating. They forgot to add that onto the T t rating and because of that uh they had to censor certain uh, the language that was actually in the game for like all pretty much the swearing they have to censor the swearing in the game which was not only a stupid move on their end but even trying to censor it was pretty abysmal uh i and i'll, I'll be the one to tell you that because if if you actually listen to some of the sen if, if you actually listen to the censored clips you can just tell how they botched it up really badly because th there was no other way for them to try and change it and trying to actually get the actual voice actors to redub it like maybe like we record the actual lines without the swearing might actually cost some bit of money so they actually had decided to patch the game so that the swearing is actually censored but they did it in like a really bad way and <laughs> i do hope they do not make that same mistake ever again but yeah i, I am a bit concerned on whether or not it will actually get censored but to be fair virtual stars and uh ninja wars both of the game both of those games didn't really came with uh, actual censorship in fact I am working on uh, reviewing both of those games in the near future, but only time will tell. But I am looking forward to this uh, to this fifth game. I am looking forward to it a lot. I know a lot of people actually try to consider uh, Hyper Dimension of Tunia Sister vs. Sisters as the fifth main game, considering that it pretty much like had it, it pretty much t in a way it kind of ties in with the fourth game. But I highly disagree with that. I don't think it actually ties in with the game. I haven't really played it yet, but I am planning on getting the Switch version, which, <laughs> by the way, I, 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 let, let, me, let me just address, let me just get this out of the way. <laughs> so, when the game was actually announced to be released on the Switch version, people who bought the PS4 version were pretty pissed at the fact that they made the new characters playable in the Switch version, yet you can't play as them in the PS4 version. And while a bit... Or a bit of a slap in the face at the same time 
uh, personally, I'm not really worried because I haven't bought the game yet. Because I'm gonna be real to 50 bucks for uh, a spin-off game, not really ideal in my opinion. I think it should have been at least 30 to 40 at least under 40 bucks that's how i'm feeling and like having it being almost full price especially for a budget title not really something that i would actually spend my money on but <laughs> that that's just me though but who knows in the near future i am considering getting uh sisters versus sisters as well as the next game which is evolution so yeah those are games that i'm i'm considering on getting uh but yeah, <laughs> uh, that I had to get that out of the way just to say. But yeah, uh, the fact that people would consider Sisters vs. Sisters as the fifth title, or at least close to the fifth being the fifth, is, uh, in my opinion, uh, something that I would disagree with. Because, like, again, Combat Heart did make it very clear that it's a spin-off game. So, and plus. From clips I've seen, I don't think it actually ties in with V2. So that's pretty much gone out of the window. So again, really looking forward to this new uh, install, the, like the fifth mainline game. I am looking forward to it. But and I'm also looking forward to something else that they just recently announced. So uh, Gamatsu actually posted an article stating that the Rebirth games will be coming to the PS4 along with the Nintendo Switch. Now, keep in mind, Rebirth 1 is already on the PS4, but in Japan only, and is known as Rebirth 1 Plus. So, they're planning to report Sister Generation along with V Generation onto the PS4, and they are planning to port the other, like, the whole Rebirth trilogy onto Switch. So, that in itself is actually a good it's actually a smart move and why i would consider this a smart move over like remaking rebirth one for the ps5 is for various reasons instead of actually remaking the game they're actually just bringing the ports over to the actual consoles and think because think about it as i said before rebirth one only came out on the ps4 in japan only and i think that was a pretty bad move by not including this worldwide because think about it people who are not really a pc gamer would have loved to play the game on the console and also who's really playing rebirth 1 to 3 on the video in 2024 who's really doing that to this at this point in time so the idea of actually bringing the ports over to ps4 and switch i am looking forward to it and who knows maybe they might actually bring this worldwide hopefully they can actually do this i know but at the same time i think it's pretty much overdue because these ports have been out over a decade ago i want you to understand that it came out it, these came out a decade ago it all started in 2013 with we both won and as they continue on with the ports and then that's when they started with uh, V2 back in 2015, which, by the way, again, almost 10 years since V2 came out in Japan in 20, 2015. So, yeah, I think this was, all of this was overdue, but the fact that they're actually now decided to bring these ports over uh, is actually pretty smart. It's pretty smart on their end, and I do hope they actually come out worldwide, which... I probably think they might actually do considering their track record of actually bringing over the spin-off games worldwide. Ne Neptunia seems to be in a pretty good place. I know I've been pretty critical about it in back in 2020 to 2021, but I do I am hopefully looking forward to these and I hope you all are also looking forward to this upcoming news, but yeah, let me know what you all think about this in the comment section below. Are you? Uh, how, how do you feel strongly about this, considering that it's been almost 10 years since uh, V2 came out, and it's been over a decade since the Reboot series have also came out? I've also been critical about the Reboot trilogy. Uh, I, I Not in terms of gameplay, but in terms of how they've toned down the humor, and just how the story really did not really grow much on me, and also the sprites as well. I just don't really think the spice are at their best but only time will tell uh and when they do come out worldwide who know i'll probably like play all three of these uh ports and actually do some comparisons 
with the original trilogy that came out on the PS3, but only time will tell. Uh, and I think that's going to be it for this video. And let me know what you all think about all of this. Uh, I am bring I am planning on bringing back more Neptunia content. I know it's been like over a year since I've uploaded the final part of my Neptunia anime review, but I am back on the Neptunia content, and I am planning on bringing back more this year. Uh, but until then, this is Startup Protagonist signing out. Uh, if you're new to this channel, be sure to like uh, if you enjoyed the video, and also comment down below what you guys think, and also subscribe and join the Star Nation. Also hit that bell. Uh, and I think that's about it. Uh, and yeah, have a star day. And uh, yeah.